everyone, Ms. DiRario here from Citizenship Academy with your next lesson in Module 3. Now remember we're working in base 10 units. We learned about thousands, hundreds, and tens yesterday. You guys already know about ones. We're going to move forward with that today. So our objective today is to count up and count down between 100 and 220 using tens and ones. We did a little bit of that yesterday with ones and tens separately. Today we're going to combine them. First, we're going to warm up with counting by five around the clock. Remember, it's important to keep our skip counting in our brains. It's important to kind of recognize this pattern around a clock as well. So it's good practice. So I'm going to move the dot. We're going to count by fives. When the dot stops, I want you to tell me how much time has passed. Ready? So we're going to count by fives. Here we go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. How many minutes have passed? Good. 45 minutes. What is 10 minutes less than 45? Remember, just changing the tens place. 10 minutes less is how many minutes? 35 minutes. Good. What's 10 minutes more? 10 more than 45 minutes. Remember, just changing the tens place. 10 more than 45 minutes is 55 minutes. Awesome. All right, now that we got our brains working, I'm gonna show you either a 10 stick, hundreds, or a single block. That's gonna show us what to count by. So we're gonna start at a number, and I'm gonna show you the symbol of what we're gonna count by. And then we're going to count, and then when it switches, we're going to keep going off of that same number, counting by tens, hundreds, or ones. Okay? We'll do it together. You'll see what I mean. So we're starting with tens, so we're going to start counting by tens. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Oh! Now what are we gonna count by? 100s, good, we're starting at 130. We're gonna count up by 100, so 130, 230, 330, 430, 530, 630. Oh, pause. Now what are we gonna count by? Good, we're going back to 10s. So we're at 630, we're gonna count by 10s moving forward there, here we go. 630, 640, 650, 660, 670, 680, 690. Oh, pause. What's this? A one. Very good. So we're going to take 690 now. We're going to count by ones. So 690, 691, 692, 693, 694, 695, 696, 697, 698, 699, 700, woo, 701, 702, 703, woo, that was pretty cool, we went from 10 to 703, good job guys, all right, pause the video, grab something to write with if you don't already have something, and then come back when you're ready, we'll get into our application problem, ready, okay, so let's read it first, and then we'll figure out what it's asking and solve. This says, Ben and his dad have sold 60 chocolate chip cookies at the school bake sale. If they baked 100 cookies, how many cookies do they still need to sell? So, pause the video, talk with someone at home about what they are asking for. What are they, what's the problem asking for? Good. It's asking for... How many cookies do Ben and his dad need to sell? They baked 100, they sold 60. We need to figure out how many more they need to sell. So let's set up a tape diagram for that. So I have cookies baked, I'm gonna put a B. Cookies sold, I'm gonna put a S. So they baked 100 cookies and they sold how many? 60. So we need to figure out this number here, right? Okay. 
go ahead and solve. Ready? All right, let's go over it. So in this picture, we have it counted by tens. So they have, they've baked 100 cookies. If they sold 60, let's count off 60 for the number that they've sold. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now, how many are left? Let's count those extra circles. 10, 20, 30, 40. How many do they still need to sell? 40, very good. You also could have solved it like our tape diagram here and known that 60 plus 40 equals 100 or 100 minus 60 equals 40. Lots of ways to solve, whatever works for you. But drawing a picture is helpful so that you know what you're solving for. That's my advice. All right, here we go. How many cubes are in this bundle? How many cubes is this? Remember, this is 10 tens. Very good, 100. All right, how many now? 101, we're good. We have 100 and 1, 1, 101. How many now? 102, good. How many now? 103, 100, and three ones. 104, very good. 105, awesome, you got it. How many now? 106, 107, 108, 109, good. How many is this? We have 100 and then how many ones? 10 ones, right? So it's 110. What can you do or what can I do with these 10 ones? What new unit can I make? Am I just going to leave those 10 ones just like that? What can we pile those into? What can we bundle those into? What can we make? 110, very good. We can turn that into a 10 stick. When you have 10 ones, or when you have 10 tens, or when you have 10 hundreds, turn it into that next unit. So 10 ones is going to turn into 110. Okay, we're going to change that into that unit. Just to make it easier for your brain. Okay, what can we make? with these 10 tens. Are we just gonna leave them like 10 tens? We're gonna push them together and what are we gonna make? 100, good. We're gonna push the 10 tens together to make 100. Just like we put the 10 ones together to make 110, we're gonna put the 10 tens together to make 100. Awesome, okay. If yeah, we can count it out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome. What can we do with these 10 hundreds? We learned about this new unit yesterday. If we're going to compile and put all the 10 hundreds together, what is that going to make? 1,000. Good job. So let's count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. 10 hundreds. This is what the 1,000 unit is going to look like. It's going to look like a 3D hundred or a cube. All right. So I'm going to have you pause the video after I give these directions. I want you to count from 100 to 124 using tens and ones. Work with somebody at home with it. Count to from 100, start 100, and then count to 124 using tens and ones. See if you can figure out the fastest way to do it. Go ahead, come back to me when you're ready. Ready? Okay, what was the fastest way to reach 124? When we use, good, when we use both tens and ones, it goes a lot faster. If we just use ones and we're like, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104. It's going to take a while. But what if we start by counting by tens and we go 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. When we mix the tens and ones, it goes a lot faster. So now I want you to try that. Try this one 
at home with somebody. I want you to count. I want you to count from 124 to 220 using tens and ones. Pause and try it. Good. You got it. So we could count by ones: 121. 124, 125, 126. That would take a while, right? If we count by tens, it might be a little bit faster. So we'd go 124, 134, 130, 144, 154, 164, 174, 184, 194, 204, 214. And then we're going to have to count by ones. 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220. Now, is there an easier way for us to do this? I don't think we can count by hundreds. If we counted by hundreds, we'd go 124 to 224. That would be too high. But that's also an option if our numbers are high. So today we are going to, with your paper and your pencil, we're going to practice drawing the units to count from 100 to 124. Here's what I mean. So we start with 100, right? Okay, now we're gonna add our tens on. 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. So you're drawing the units to show us how we are counting using tens and ones. All right, let's try this one. So we're starting at 124. So draw 124 on your paper. I'm going to put a box around that too because that helps me know that's the number we're starting with. 124. Now just like we did together, we're going to start counting by tens because it's much easier than counting by ones. So we're at 124, 134, 144, 154, 164, 174, 184, 194, 200, 210, 220. And I'm going to pause. Nope. I messed that up. I'm sorry. 124, 120, 134, 144, 154, 164, 174, 184, 194, 204, that's where I messed up, 214. Now we pause and we go 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220. Whew. So I have all my tens added on and all of my ones added on. I'll show you on the screen since I messed that up. I'm sorry. So we have 124. We're going to count on by tens first because that's going to be easier for us to get to 220. So we're at 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130. They did it backwards for me. Totally cool. Whatever makes sense in your brain. 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 200, 210, 220. It'll probably be easier for you to get to that 10 first before you start counting by 10s. So if this makes more sense to you, do it this way. All right, we're going to skip that one for now because I want us to get into our exit ticket. So for today, you're going to be looking at a picture and counting how many straws are in the group. These bundles right here, the bigger ones, are groups of 100, and these smaller ones are groups of 10, and these are your ones. So this is hundreds, tens, and ones. And you're going to pick the best answer. Same thing down here. These are groups of 10. And then you're going to do groups of, and you're going to tell me how many stars there are. And then these are groups of 10 as well. Okay, so you're going to count your hundreds, tens, and ones. Pick the best answer. All right, we'll work more with counting by ones, tens, and hundreds tomorrow. Thank you for your patience today. I know that was tricky and I messed it up on my board. So if you have any questions, do let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow.